remake versus is a series about taking an original film and facing it off against a remake film and i thought this was a totally original idea till i decided to look it up on youtube and it had already been a thing for years but despite this i still want to make a series out of it so i'm just gonna go ahead and do the series So The Hills Have Eyes 1977 versus The Hills Have Eyes the 2006 remake. Now one thing I will say right off the bat, I don't really love these two, which is gonna make it hard. It's not that I don't like them, I do like them, they're good film. They don't excite me, like when I hear The Hills Have Eyes, good like body horror, good horror film, but I don't know, it just doesn't excite me, like it's good, you know? People don't watch it on like Halloween season, and I don't know which episode this is. Again, I'm horrible. If you guys have watched up the channel, I'm horrible with just anything and remembering stuff, so this is episode question, but either way, this is episode number something, The Hills Have Eyes. Let's start with the original. You got a family contained of the parents, the older sister with her husband, the son-in-law, and then the younger sister and then the younger brother. They're all trying to go to California, make it a Hollywood. Or I don't know, do they even say LA? I just know they're trying to get to California. That's the gist. They meet a supposedly friendly but also creepy ass old man who does something that there's a shortcut in the desert to go to California. That turns out to be a big old lie. Crashes. Leaves them stranded alone on this. While they're all arguing and praying to each other, there's someone watching. Supposedly the hills having eyes watching them from the distance. The father and son-in-law go to get things. The father says go back to the gas station and the son like decides to go somewhere we don't even see him there's not no additional scene he just goes away and comes back at night i guess that's to create like a red hair maybe he's the killer maybe he's doing that sabotage this family which i think would have been a good red herring but they don't bring that up they just oh he's back so while they're doing that you've got brenda bobby the mother and then the older sister just setting up lunch and dinner whatever patiently waiting and then night comes quickly i was like oh shit night comes quickly as fuck all right it's gonna be a really quick movie well actually before night falls bobby finds one of the dogs being gutted he falls back and then bobby comes back at night now this did annoy me a bit but then at a time to process it is like he probably doesn't want to scare his family which makes sense right he just want to keep it hush hush but that's the issue within itself because like hey man something really bad is going on here and you're slowly like gonna make your family like be eaten by these goddamn people these cannibals but he doesn't say it until like the halfway point while that's happening again people are watching someone's clearly watching them and i remember watching this for the first time being like in my head being like okay is this a supernatural being or is it just people or is it some kind of creature because i thought it was some kind of creature but then you know when it turns to be what it is it wasn't disappointed it wasn't underwhelmed it was just more like a oh okay thought like might have been something supernatural natural or some sort of creature but no it just turned out to be a bunch of people who loves eating humans who are cannibal and i was like all right that's creepy like sometimes humans give me way more scarier than anything that is supernatural or even a creature if you see a big ass wolf that you i want to run away father gets to the gas station finds out that the old man is just stringing alone and trying to kill himself that's his why turns out he left his own son to rot and die in the middle of nowhere and within that his son started his own family his own cannibalistic family and this family has just been eating people who's been coming along this shortcut and the father feels guilt and then there's like jason right another two part two moment where window break gets the old man kills him i was like oh okay completely ran up but hey i guess a little jump scare the father can't see him so he just has to run away but he also hears his creepy ass voices and i do like that just not seeing anything just hearing these goddamn voices from out of nowhere like what the hell is going on he starts running obviously going tired falls down and the person comes up takes his gun away knocks him out and on the radio communicates with somebody assuming another person to get the other families and we go back the son-in-law's back with a bunch of equipment and whatnot and that's when bobby spits it out he's been trying to say it throughout the whole film he tells his older sister and his brother-in-law be like hey one of the dogs got gutted i don't remember the name uh, like one of them is beast is it beastie or some shit something like that one of the dogs that gutted everyone's freaking out. i was like okay we need to start moving in and out or the hills that have eyes comes down jumps in one of them already has their hands over brenda's mouth and she's freaking out another one comes in brenda obviously reacts to what any normal person should react to freaking the hell out but then the tree stops going on flames but that's the father everyone starts going over there you're leaving brenda alone they're in the rv these two people are just like messing everything up eating food stealing food i believe one of them eats like a bird disgusting stuff that happens happens in the rv with her trying to save their father who's being burnt to a crisp the older sister and mom goes back they find out brenda's in trouble one of the guys they have a gun kills the mother and the older sister and which leads to bobby and the son-in-law going back to the rv those two get out kill brenda but they run out of bullets bobby shoots two shoots misses all of them and then this is the point in the film where it's like okay now the son-in-law is totally you know kind of responsible because his like laid-back nature of just kind of brushing everything off is what kind of led to this happening now it's not entirely his fault but again he's just kind of that, that character is like and that just something like like raccoons in, in the woods or whatever he's like that type of character and because of that step up and actually hunt down these cannibal people take charge basically and he blames himself for it he feels guilty so he asks bobby brenda to help him bobby and brenda are at the rv setting up some traps while he takes the dog which by the way that dog pushes that other guy out i was like yes i actually got really excited like yes good job dog the dog's back at the walkie talkie to hear them and then we do get a scene with this family this other family this cannibalistic family which i guess in a way it was about two different families two different type of different family one's cannibal 
realistic and wants a very luxurious like i guess normal family that has water and you know everything that you should normally have if you work hard for it and it's like that brings up an interesting point of the way to live and the way to survive clashing at each other being cannibalistic and one just having the luxury of having cars and going to hotels and whatnot like i've actually never thought about it like that you've got the son along with his dog orders the dog to be quiet and take out some people now in terms of the looks there's only one person that looks kind of scary and it's the guy on the poster of the film aside from that the other family they look kind of normal they just look really dirty and that's it they haven't taken a shower in years probably decades and then we get seasons of them talking and the way they talk to each other the way they treat each other there's a little girl who obviously doesn't like being there and she'll play a huge part later on in the final climax kind of like a okay dysfunctional kind of creepy messed up family kind of take the scare out of it i won't lie it's like it makes them human you know because they're a different type of family that just does things differently now it's time for the other family you know brenda the son-in-law and bobby to check out each of the family members the dog takes out one of them i think two of them actually takes out the ball guy the one on the poster bikes off is the shit out of his leg making it bleed they believe kills him bobby and brenda kill one of them blow up but they actually do kill him in the end and then the son-in-law kills one as well i believe the son-in-law does kill most of them except for the mother which i thought was interesting there's a sequel which i will talk about later on i don't know on my channel maybe i'll talk about it later on but either way the little girl can a little girl decides to take on the other family side because she doesn't like the way her life is going the father orders the family to kill the baby that doesn't work she goes away there's this long chase and like rocks in the middle of nowhere the son-in-law the little girl and another cannibal family member he obviously kills him with the bite of the snake which they do bring up throughout the film they bring up like the snake the rattlesnake or like a bite and whatnot but they bring it back up and the final fight bites him they get rid of most of the family members except for the little girl which is joins them at the end they all join together and then the mother who's just kind of left not being like mentioned at all and that's how the movie ends. It's one of Wes Craven's earlier films. It's still a good film, even like today in 2021. I don't think they can prove anything on it. Good film about the unknown. Nah, you know what? I'm not thinking about it that way. I kind of see this film interesting. I kind of see this film in a different light now. If you're thinking about it that way, the different society norms between two different families, the way they just like function. The 1977 The Hills of Eyes original is still good. Now the 2006 remake. I don't know if this is worth being like remake because I will say right off the bat, most of it's kind of the same. You know, it's longer. They add additional scenes, which again, I don't think is necessary but it starts off with actually a different opening with a bunch of testing people wearing suits being killed by a very big large mutated person and then it comes to credits and it was with the same family you got the two parents you've got the son-in-law the older sister the younger sister the younger brother the only difference is that they want to go to california but they want to celebrate their parents 50th anniversary for i guess the game together and getting married and they're in i think new mexico i believe is the new setting they meet they all got a gas station be vibes for him turns out there's a shortcut they go to a shortcut barbed wires not barbed wires there's like spike traps there crashes there's to the family they pray against someone's looking like the hills or whatnot and by this point i was like okay let this be a shot of shot remake and it's not again they add additional scenes but it's like it's still essentially the same movie it's like oh no this is not not good it's, it's not looking too good son-in-law and father go to separate ways to find you know food or resources whatnot and through this there are some differences bobby does see the dog get gutted falls behind there's an additional scene of the little girl looking at him and then another mutated person looking upon them that's an additional scene another additional scene is the son-in-law finding like a bunch of craters was implying that the government nuked this whole town which caused a mutation but there's a bunch of craters and a bunch of cars assuming a bunch of tourist cars that came here before this family and have been killed and eaten by this cannibalistic family i do like that and the whole movie itself i won't lie like i did check like the runtime out quite a bit like twice only but it's like a everything kind of prolonged for essentially no reason and then the slight change to the father scenes in the gas station there's no explaining scene of the gas station guy saying that he like left his son it's the government that caused all this finds the old man dead already and he finds a mutated person behind his car bashing his head there's no like running scene he just is like yep he's getting bashed he's probably gonna get burned up later on so then later on the son-in-law comes back says that there's an end of the road the old man was lying bobby again comes back doesn't want to spit it out just like in the original and he tells him hey one of our dogs got gutted and we should probably get out of here because we're scared and then that's when the tree lights on fire the father they knew cg fire on the father kill which again was unnecessary one of the dogs the smart ones decides to kill one of them bites the neck off rips his arm off bring the radio back to the rv but before that even happens again the brenda scene where she freaks out i believe i don't remember which version has one of them bird head off? Is it the remake or the original? Someone told me that in the comments below. I don't remember. Bothering me, goddammit. But either way, the mother orders us to go back there. Now instead we get like a slight change of this breastfeeding scene. <laughs> 
more like a oh yeah these people are people are sick now unlike in the original cannibalistic family this one communicating well at all it seems like they're going based off of chaos because in the original they had like a strategy to like communicate and get rid of these people one by one and the remake is just straight up like yeah let's do our own thing get all them together and then also in the remake so there's no scene of them they're a bit more mysterious which i do like like there's no additional scenes solely on them and their banter together it's just when the son like gets to the nuke town and the finds like the guy in a wheelchair that's when the whole like i guess one scene family together laughing talking about eating people there's none of that and so like with the original the son law feels guilty and responsible for the death of his family because he was so laid back on brushing everything off and whatnot which initiates him to be a badass to be in the forefront killing all these mutated people nuke town he finds that guy in a big head wheelchair he finds the big guy in the remake they're a lot more scary they look a lot more scary than the, the original again prosthetics and whatnot maybe some cgi but like they look a lot more scary a lot more threatening than the ones in the original robbie and Brittany, they have the same whole like setting up trap with that one mutated person to come in and blow up and that happens but just kind of abruptly i won't lie it's not like prolonged the original this one actually just kind of blows up it's not like in the original he blows up it's a fake out you have to shoot him in the head no he actually blows up which that was better and then the son law comes in kills most of the family and if not all of them in this new town bloody mess again a lot more gory which i do love so i was like hey, you know what it's a shot kind of the same movie with additional scenes at least make it gory and it was and then we get the little girl being taking the baby choosing the family and then the one mule shows up kills them the son law thinks he's killed them but then he gets back up he has like a gun and then the little girl mutated girl decides to make sacrifice and kill both her and the family member saving the baby and the son-in-law everyone reunites and again the only difference is that in this reunion the little mutated girl isn't with them it's just the core family of the son-in-law bobby and the dog but then wait there's more there's an additional shot panning out binoculars flying that there's someone else another mutated person watching from behind the scenes and planning there's going to be a sequel which there was which again like the original to that sequel i'll talk about later on it really depends if i want to or not but yeah that's the remake so in terms of who's gonna win i think both are essentially the same film some minor differences the way the family communicates is a lot better in the original than the remake but then it's a lot more gory in the remake than the original some things feel left out in the remake from the original like the whole brenda and bobby thing that's kind of left out some things are being implied between the younger sister and the son-in-law but again that's not really important but that's just slide in the beginning the cannibalistic family look a lot scarier in the remake than the original there's only one person that looks scary and it's the poster guy and i do like the reason as to why they the way they are in the remake due to the government nuking the whole town while in the original it's just a, a man leaving his family or son behind but i guess in the end like again same movie both films are good i like both films i don't love them but they're just good but i guess in the end at the hills of eyes 1977 wins they wanted to see something different but something different saw them first the hills have i based off fact that i would rewatch it more because the remake is longer for kind of no reason and when it doesn't need to be it was just like oh, why is this being long and i'll probably rewatch the original more so that's it for another episode of remake versus i'm recording i feel like i haven't recorded this series in a while so it feels weird but that's it for me this has been the world so far and thank you for watching Thank you.